Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here today with a very simple project. I'm just chopping up some 12 by 12 inch papers to make some tags. And I'm doing a bit of strategic chopping so I get a nice tag. Yeah, I've done that one. That's already chopped. I've done that one that's already chopped. And I'm going to be decorating them with some doilies, some seam binding and some eyelash trim. Uh, I wanted some tags that were not too thick and these well they're just the thickness of the scrapbook paper aren't they and I needed some slightly taller ones to fit in my butterfly junk journal so yeah it's just a bit of strategic chopping and cutting and yeah I won't be wasting the other pieces I'll get lots of use out of those so I've grabbed a couple of pages out of the Mariposa paper pack I'm loving that one really I'm loving that I think I can get, well, I'm saying, I wish those butterflies didn't overlap, I could have got two brilliant tags out of that. And that would make a good journal cover, wouldn't it? So yeah, I'm just going on, oh yeah, what do I really want to chop that up? I don't know. Is this, I might chop that one up. I'm definitely going to chop that one up. Um, yeah, yeah, I've got them all out now, and now I don't know which ones to chop up. I'm just a nightmare. I'm going to chop this one up first. I love this paper. This really is a paper you don't need to do anything else to. And I just want some taller tags. Now I want to get that butterfly on. Yeah. So I know I'm gonna chop through that bird cage, but that's it's too big and it's too wide. I'm not gonna use that bird cage. So I'm just gonna chop this tag off. I think I'll make this tag three inches wide. We'll have that butterfly in the middle. Yeah, so do I want, I'm going to tag with the butterfly at the bottom and then I'll get a smaller journal card with this piece there. So my journal's eight inches high, I want some tall tags. So I just chopped my others randomly, but this one I think I need to make it particular size. Let's, yeah, let's pull arm out on here so I don't have to do maths, it's not a maths day. Well, math as you ladies in the US call it, I don't know why we've stuck an S on end, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> oh, you can probably get a degree in differences between uh, American English and yeah, UK English, can't you? Right, so I'm going to make it. I'm make it seven and a half, seven and a quarter. I'm going to make it. Then I've got a lovely. Yeah, so that's at the tag, and that's going to be. That could I just could make that a tag, a small tag, but not today, Josephine. So that's going to be a tag. What about this? I don't know. I think I want to keep that as it is because I want to make, I don't know what I want to make. Just put it to one side, Julie. You know you don't want to chop it up today. That's all we need to know. Right, I'm going to make a tag out of that part. I like it. So this one's going to be three and a half inch wide. Yeah. And it's going to be Seven and a seven and a half. I'll make this one seven and a half inch high. Yeah. There we go. So we're just basically using the lovely images instead of. Ooh, what about this one? I can't see me ever using that whole thing. So I might chop it up in sections for tags. Yeah. My desk's an absolute mess already. I've been filming five seconds. So I'm going to make that, make this a bit skinny, make this one two and a half. Let's we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, I do like it having half of that on now. I will make this one seven and a half inches high. There we go. So that's going to be a tag. I'd love to try and get this butterfly in. So I'm going to chop off past the butterfly at some random point. That will then become something else. What? I do not know. I'm probably going to waste a strip here. But I just want to get this butterfly on a tag. It's so cute. I'll make it two and three quarters inch, this one. Yeah, and then I'm going to cut that one off at seven and a half. Right. <coughs> 
Have I done enough chopping up of paper? I think I might so. We've got enough tags to go at now. One, two, three. We've got these I already did. This is my favourite piece. I didn't want to muck that up while talking. Because you only get two of each in the paper pad. That's not a lot, is it? What would you do if you ran out? Oh, you'd have to buy another one. Is that one a tag? I've gone off that one as a tag now, to be quite honest. don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might make it into a pocket or a tuck and put something else on it. Today, I'm just making tags. Right, let's put the bits we've not used out of the way. I didn't even use these pages. I've used that one to make some journal cards, haven't I? So, yeah, that's not end it well, but I've not used it today. Right. I promise you a quick video, it is going to be quick, so when you see what I'm going to do to finish these, it'll be like, oh, yeah, there you go, that didn't take long. So we've got five to go at, and I've got out, you can see them here, I've got some doilies out, and I'm going to use some doilies on the tops, and then I'm going to add a bow, I think. Now that one's not wide enough, is it? That one. It's white good on that. Yeah, I think it is. We can see all that glitter and glam through, can't we? So I'm basically just folding that over. Mmm, nice. It even looks nice on the back, doesn't it? Let's give that a little bit of an ink up first. Make it look a little bit vintage -y. There we go. And I'm basically, I'm just going to stick that doily on there. I am. And I do like white with it. She says, hunting for a cream one. Mm, I've got a cream one. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like it. Let's change it. Yeah, that's me all over. I like an off-white this. I think this fits much better also. I think it's a better size. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold that over and then I'm gonna cut some off the back. Yeah, I'm gonna, because that's far too much doily on the back, isn't it? And then we could use the rest of the doily on something else. So I'm gonna grab my big chompy scissors. I'm gonna do this by eye, which is really not like me. Yeah, that will look fine on the back. And I'm going to glue this on before I trim the sides because I don't want to get it wrong. I'm going to glue this on with a little bit of glue. <laughs> yeah, glue. That magical stuff. Use a bit of me. Get your glue book out, woman. Because then you'll be able to... Things rolling away. That's better. You'll get your glue right up to edge. I'm just going to put a little bit on the wider parts of the doily. We're going to put an eyelet and a bow on this, so it's not going to fall off. She hopes. It's not going to fall off. I promise you it won't fall off. It won't. Just try and centralise it. Yep. Stick that down, then I'm just going to come in and trim these edges. I saw someone doing this with book page once. I can't remember who. And I'm talking yonks ago. I mean years ago. When I was still doing mini albums before even going to junk journals. Right. So that's the top of our tag. It's just a bit of something different, isn't it? I sometimes get bored with making the regular tag shapes. I loved something that Izzy B at Izzy B's Craft Creations did. She made some little templates to shape the tops of tags. That were good. Why is that glue gone like water? I have no idea what happened there. Was that an experiment? This is the one. I think I need, I don't want this curling up, so I'm just going to put a little bit of tacky glue on the very edges. I've gone and put some in a little bottle now to make my life a bit easier. 
instead of using that unwieldy giant bottle I've been using that's better there we go and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole and I'm going to put an eyelet through in fact you don't even need to put an eyelet through so I'm going to make it a bit further down not that far down that looks about the middle I'm going to try one of these shiny eyelets, see if it works for me any better today. No, I'm not, because it never works, and I'll regret having to dig it back out. That's shiny enough for me. That goes nice with the gold, I think. There we go. And that looks nice as it is. You could just put string in, but I want to put some bows and some eyelash trim and some flu flu. Or whatever it's called. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, I think that might be nice. I think it takes the colours from the butterfly, doesn't it? Oh, oh, yeah. So, let's thread it through. Cut a chunk off. Cut a chunk off, woman. Then you're not... Yeah. I don't often do bows with eyelash trim. I've said why before. It makes the you can't often see that it's an actual bow, but I'm gonna give it a whirl and see what occurs. If I don't like it, I'll change it for a piece of a yeah, seam binding. Oh cool. It's not a bow, is it? It's just bits of eyelash trim dangling. I don't like it, I'm not doing it. Sorry. Alright, get some Seam binding instead. Have I even got a colour that I would like with this? Would the yellow be a bit yellow? I think I might like the yellow. And I think, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my old favourite of tying the seam binding. I was going to tie this in a bow on the top, but now I've changed my mind. I'm just going to cut it off. I'm going to cut it off there and then I'm going to tie the top with a bit of this. Yeah. I couldn't tell you if this is the marigold or... I've got two of these colours in my shop. One's marigold and one's amber. And they are so similar in colour I can't even pack them in electric lighting. Because I can't see difference. I'm making a double knot because I don't want it coming off. Oh, that's it. And I'm just going to trim it then. That's it. So, that's it. That's all I've done. I like that one. Now I've got eyelash trim everywhere in yellow. I love that stuff, but it's messy. Right, let's make another one. Let's make one with this. I think this one would be nice with a white doily. That one's too small. <clears throat> I need a larger doily. I zoom the camera out a bit today so you can see all the mess I'm making. I can't keep my desk tidy. It was very tidy in my area. I had just the things out I wanted to use. And now it's just descended into chaos already, hasn't it? Right, that's what I want. I want to use some of these doilies that are a bit damaged. Right, we, only, we want just enough on there so that I can still see the butterfly. So this one's not going to have very much on at all, is it? Mm. Yeah. That'll do you. So get the big chompy scissors, you know, then you've lost already, then you've buried. Here they are. And, yeah, I'm being very brave cutting things freehand. But I said I was going to do that. I said I was going to get a little bit more relaxed. That's not got a lot of doily on there, has it, really? 
do you know what i'm gonna make that tag a little bit narrower i don't like it i don't like how wide it is i'm gonna just trim a little bit off each edge i think it needs it smidge more off that edge I think that looks better now and yeah I know we're not, we're not we've not got any more doily on but I like the uh, side you know like on that one where the doily comes to an end and we weren't getting any of that we've got a bit of it now haven't we right I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one Yeah. Might as well come in now and put some of this glue on anta. Tacky glue. Just on these edgy bits. I don't like to put tacky glue everywhere because it can make your doilers a little bit too wrinkly because they are quite thin. Right, then try and get that centralish. Centralish. Ish being the operative word. <laughs> Ish. There we go. Trim the edges. It's just a bit of something different at the top of a tag, isn't it? I like that. And let's get this again. I think I might put a different colour. Brad in the top, eyelet, whatever they're called. Oh, I'm very, I need to order some more silver eyelets. I've got about six left, literally. And I'm using one on this tag. Oh, I just like the look of that ta uh, eyelet inside the doily. There we go. Right, and what colour seam binding am I going to have on this? I think this needs some something pale. Yeah. I think this, I might even get away with some just brand new off-white seam binding. Where's my off-white? There it is. Some plain undyed seam binding. Yeah, I like that. If you want to crinkle this, if you don't want to mess about with water, I just scrunch it up and roll it round in my hand. There you go. It's crinkled. Ooh, I like it. This one, I think, is just going to be a bow. Yeah, I'm just going to tie a bow. On the top. Well, you can see it's not the bottom, can't you? I didn't really need to add that on the top. There we go. So you can do these with anything. You can put this top on any tag. But if I've got a tag that's not collaged or decorated in any other way, just the uh, paper, I like to put something at the top. There we go. Plenty of room to... I'm not even going to ink that one because this is so pale and white, isn't it? So we've got two. Let's do another. I'm going to do this one this time, I think. Yeah, I like that. And he wants, I think I need to use a small doily for this. Right, my Asda shop's here. I'm going to pause and I won't let my battery go flat, I promise. And I'm back. Right, where were I? Right, we're going to put a doily on top of here. And I've just thought I've got some coloured doilies. Let's have a look if one of these is going to fit. Yeah, these are all, they're all by Dovecraft. I've sort of picked all the Dovecraft doilers I had left and put them in, packed together and under it, look, I've found some of those lovely green ones. 
I wonder if one of those will look nice. Ooh, what about, I'm thinking that might go. It does pick out that red in the butterfly. Got some brown. Oh, that would have looked so nice on that blue one. Uh, I don't know whether to do that or green or just white again. Let's have a look, see. I do like the green. Yeah, I'm going to do a green one. Come off, you will peel off. I noticed when I was cutting up the doily for the journal, the big rectangular one that I got off Deborah, I'd actually cut two up. I didn't realise there were two stuck together. So I have one squirrelled away, ready to put on in another book. Right, I want that to come down just to there where the butterfly is. That's going to get rid of a lot, a lot of doily. But hey ho, we can use it on another tag. So, that's probably not cut very straight, but the world will not end as I keep saying as. <laughs> oh dear. And I think what Diana had put in the comments, she'd put in the comments, but will it the world end? And, I'm, and I said, well, every time I say it, I think, yeah, it's a habit. It's something I've said for years. My mum used to say it. And yeah, in light of recent events, it's yeah. But no, it's not going to end. It's not going to end. Right, let's get some glue on this one and stick it on my tag. I just, they're just so quick and easy. You can make them with anything. Make them with book page. You can make them with anything. Anything. So I'm not going to list what you can make them with because you really can make them with anything. I'm not kidding. Right, I'm going to have to use some. Let's get a bit of... Oh. That glitter. That's very runny. I don't know what's happened to a lot of my glues. I mean, I've got a vague recollection of I tried putting a different kind of glue in here and it's not actually art glitter, but I can't remember. Go on, put your pin in. You can get your pin in. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to just take a bit of that glue off. There's far too much of it. Before I go sticking it on my tag. Right, now I shall try. that. Right. I'm going to do it this way to line up the crease. I've gone and trimmed the edges now before sticking it on like I said I were not going to but I've been down and I've got an Asda shopping since I said that. Yeah. Oh I like that. I really like it. I'm going to get a different baby wipe. In fact now I'll get some kitchen towel because I don't have a drying baby wipe anywhere. Just, yeah, I do like that. I've got glue on my new piece of background. <laughs> it's a roller wallpaper. There we go. I just keep taking strips off. The one that never got used. Right, I do like that one with the green on. Um, I think I might do something a little bit different with this one. I think I might put two holes in and do the bow. Yeah, I saw Fiona do that. Who is Miss Paint a lot and it looks so lovely. So one hole there. That's roughly about right and I'm going to put some gold eyelets in this. Yeah, it's just a different type of tag isn't it? Particularly good this if you like you have like I don't want anything too thick. You've got every, every tag in every journal can't be a piece of art, can it? <laughs> Not that most of my tags are a piece of art, but do you know what I mean? Some have to be simpler and quicker. Oh, your journals would take forever. I like that. Now we've got to decide on seam binding. And I don't know which, I'm, I want a green, I think. I've got some greens I've dyed myself. That one's not obviously not long enough, is it? What we've got in here then? 
I really need to dye some more seam binding. There's that. Or do I want something that's going to... I don't have any orangey ones. That's what I need to do. I need to make some orangey ready seam binding. So it's going to be green because I really don't have anything else. Oh, no. Stop the presses. I'm going to use the twine with the goldie on this one. Yeah. Instead of a... Ooh. The seam binding will cover half of the doily up, won't it? Yeah, I'm going to use this. So I'll thread it in that way and out that way. I just, I will stop whacking my camera one day. Whack all, all in a tangle. Right, that's it. could even put a little charm on this, couldn't I? I could. So, there we go. We've got a little... We've got a little string bow. Not to be confused with a bow string. <laughs> Just talking rubbish now, but what's new? Where's my skizzers? I quite like that one. My bow was not the best bow ever. I think it's because I tried to tie it without taking my twine off the... That needs to come down a bit. I like the bow bits at the top and the tail bits at the bottom. I'm just going to tie it again because I'm really not happy with that bow. happy with that one but it's still not perfect that'll do it's a bow it's done it's tied so what's that we've made three i'll just crack on and do the other two so <laughs> where are they what have i done with them <laughs> yeah i've unpacked a load of shopping since then oh, i like that one i really like that one we can keep that one wider i'm gonna see whether this blue it might just look <clears throat> Excuse me, a bit washed out now. It, it matches too well, doesn't it? There's no contrast or anything. What about this red one? No, I'm just going to put a white one on. If at first you can't decide, just go back to plan A. I'm talking absolute rubbish. That might fit. Fold it over. Obviously not gonna have as much on the back, but does that even matter? Because the front bit is perfect, yeah. That's it. Get your glue out that you know is decent woman. I didn't put the pin in this when I went down to pack my Asda shop. Unpack should I say. I had the help of one child, the other one was Either sleep on the sofa or pretending to be. I'm really not quite sure which. Kids can be cheeky. Yeah, it's too open to do it all with glue stick, this one. Because I'm not using much of the doily. But when it comes to glue, you use, you use whatever glue you like. You use what suits you. There's so many different glues about now. be honest my favourite glue does change from time to time. I do tend to come back to the same ones though. And put a little bit on there. Right. That looks good. Oh, trim up the edges. There we go. And this one. We could keep.
keep that very neutral and then I could decorate it some other way. I could put a fussy cut on. I'm so, I want to use this green one again. It does go well, doesn't it? I could put more of it on. Now I've already bent it there. Yeah, I'm going to do it because I can. Yep, that's good. We've got enough fur doily here to get some glue stick on. I'm just gonna, this, it's not as open, this doily, it doesn't seem to be as some of them. I end up getting all that shop in it. <laughs> there we go. On the back. You can always pop a bit of glue under edge at a later time if any does come up. I think those look really good on book pages. Oh, got a bit of glue in there so it don't peel off. Now you've made a mess. It's better. Yeah, I got a lot of glue came through the holes in the doily on this one. Right, that's better. And shall I do another double one with some? I think this yellow would look good on there. Yeah, I'm going to put two holes in this one and I'm going to put some yellow seam. I've been dying to use more yellow. Put these there. Like I said, you don't have to use the eyelets. I suppose it just ensures it's not going to rip. And I just I like the look of the eyelet, me. There's something about it just finishes it off, doesn't it? Oops. There we go. Oh, I'm very chilled now. I'm so ready for a rest. <laughs> and I want to use this yellow again. I like it. Cut it off about there. Yeah, these are not lovely in that journal. Ooh, I've got, I've got my tail too long on one side. That's better. I'll make a better bow. I'm not good at tying bows today. I'm having an off day on bows. I don't know why. Oh, oh that's not too bad. I'll just neaten the edges. Yeah, that's a bit of a dodgy bow, but it's there. I might retie it when I'm in a better bow mood. I quite like that one. So that basically is it. I told you we're not rocket scientists today. More of a craft room, even a tutorial, really. Oh, we didn't finish this. That's what I were doing. I need to do the top of that. So how should we do this one? We've got two with yellow. We've got one with string. I've done both the green ones double, so I'm going to do this one double. Yeah, and pick a nice. Ooh, I've got a lovely sea green type seam binder. I think I used, was it the Peacock Feathers Distress Ink? And that one needs silver. Oh, I'm going to use two more of my last six silver ones. Yeah, that definitely needed silver.
So we have all these doily topped tags. Doily tag toppers. Well, they're not tag toppers, are they? You could make, if you put the doily onto something else, you could make it one of those topped up tags, what people are making. Mm. Right. Let me get this out. Yeah. Is this colour going to go? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know, but I think it might. Yeah, I was, I was, um, was that the one or halfway? I can't remember. Do you know, I go on about, sometimes I have to watch my own videos back because I can't remember what I've said in them. I can't remember what I said in the first half of this one, you know, because I've taken a break to do something halfway through. I can't even remember what I've said halfway through. I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, dear me. One of my mum's old sayings always comes to mind. She always used to say, liars need to have good memories. <laughs> she was very good at catching people out when they lied. Especially as children and teenagers, but it's so true. Hmm. Oh, that was a bit better. It's a bit of a messier bow, that one, but it went a little bit better than the other. So there we have it. What are we doing? I've made five. I've no idea how long it took me. We're stopping the video halfway through. But there we have it, some simple doily topped tags. I hope you found that useful. And yeah, so they're all going to be going into my... Most of them will be going into my butterfly junk journal, which I'll be back with at the weekend to hopefully get it finished off. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.